Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit and today I'm going to show you my finished object, which is River Flows hat. River Flows hat is my new design, so if you're watching it now, there is a coupon code valid for 48 hours. River Flows 20. So check it out. I will put links down below to the pattern, which is on Ravelry. If you're interested, grab it if you can. So what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what tools I use, what yarn I used, uh, a bit of a pattern, just in case you're thinking of it. And Let's start. So first things first, I needed a bag and my project bag was this a lovely tote string bag. I received it as a gift during the Christmas and it was from one of the yarn events. I haven't attended but someone did and I got it as a present and I had a keychain on it just to remind me what I have and some stitch markers. Let's start with needles. The needles I used are here. I used drops needles. I have uh, two sizes and we used on the screen we have US size 6 which is 4 millimeters, and US size 7 which is 4.5 millimeters. If you have never knitted with drops needles they're kind of not too sharp but they were fine for this project. They have brownish cord and there are things written on it and my flower power pouch got that chocolate. We talk about needles, let's talk about gauge. The gauge for this hat is 10 stitches by 22 rows and I got that knitting stuck in a stitch with USI 6, 4 millimeters. Yarn. The yarn I used I received from the crate boxes and I'm telling you straight away that if you want to have a subscription I would recommend this one. This yarn is Knitology. They have few boxes and the one I'm getting mostly, you can check on this channel, is now Knit Crate Membership and I'm receiving two skeins. On the screen you see a colorway which is a raindrops and it's an interesting blend which is 40% merino, 30% silk and 30% alpaca. We have 100 gram which is 136 meters, 149 yards. It's quite a heavy yarn comparing to my test knitters who like to knit this hat I used 80 grams but some of my test knitters even with a few more with an extra repeat were getting less. Um, so it's hard for me to say let's go with 80 grams it's your minimum and if you have any leftovers you can make a pump pump. So what we have over here, we will need to cast it on on circular needles definitely and working around. This is, it is a bottom up hat. So we start from the bottom and we're doing a ribbing. Ribbing has an interesting pearl, you may not have done it, so I would recommend you to do it. We have a, a one round chart for you to repeat always in instructions. The same thing we have for the lace section when we change sizes of the needles and we have a written instruction and also chart. In this hat I did three repeats. I like kind of a beanie style. Um, like I said, I will not fold it but I'll show you how it looks folded. So there's an option for four repeats which will take more yardage just in case, in case you do that and you're using the same yarn as I do. But I think you should be fine with it if you have the same um, gauge as I do. And then we have crown which also has written instructions and a chart. Before I do that, you may have noticed I use one of my knitting I love tags. This is made with Alcantara, which is fabric, and I have stars on one side, and I have a snowflake on the other. So check my shop if you're interested. Don't forget that Knitgrade, they're so generous and they're giving us 20% off for our first box for subscription. So check KL20 for 20% off. I will leave link down below. Or if you already have this box and you received this yarn, I got raindrops, but you could get a different colors. You can knit this hat too. So here how it looks on my head. My head is 22 inches, 56 centimeters. It will fit an adult, but also a kid. So that's how slouchy it is for me with three repeats, but with a different yarn, I would suggest put a lifeline in case you would want to do three repeats and then finish uh, with a um, crown. If you think that it's fine when you finish your hat, you just pull the string 
away or if not you can rip it and you can add an extra repeat I'm just saying and as you can see when I fold it I can treat it as a beanie with a pom-pom I prefer it this way And one more thing, if you're interested how this hat looks in the different versions, go check hashtag Riverflows hat or go on Reverly and check Project Tab. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Show me what you're knitting. Hashtag knitting I love. Bye!